UvaldiRadio.net. Good morning. I'm Robert Miguel, and we are celebrating National School Choice Week this week, uh, January 22nd through 28th. And if you're wondering what school choice is, it's a process of allowing every family to choose the K-12 through educational options that best fit their children. Every child is unique. All children learn differently. Some kids might succeed at the neighborhood public school, while others might fit in better at a charter, magnet, online, private, or home learning environment. So basically what we're doing is we're showcasing Uvalde County's educational options options uh, with feature interviews with principals and heads of schools at several different campuses in the area. So uh, joining me right now on the phone from Uvalde Classical Academy, I've got the interim head of school, Audrey Dad. <laughs> Welcome, ma'am. Did I say it right? Yes, yes, you did. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, and thank you for joining me. Now, you're new at uh, UCA, right? So let's go ahead and unpack everything about Audrey. I guess, tell us exactly how long have you been at, at the uh, Uvalde Classical Academy? Um, I started here um, as librarian and administrative assistant in August, actually. Um, we recently moved to the area, and then I took over as interim um, October 31st. Wow. So this is a brand spanking new fresh job for you, huh? Yes, sir. Now, now you're uh, following, I guess, the departure of Larry Ann Wright, who, uh, who I've spoken to several times over the years. Uh, she's been with UCA for a long time. Uh, I, I didn't realize she had left, honestly. So can you give me a little bit of an idea, uh, maybe bridge the gap of information between her departure and your arrival? Um, yes. So the um, Larry Ann actually um, hired me on as administrative assistant. I was going to come alongside of her and assist her. And, and Cindy Jeffries in the front office running the day-to-day thing. And Larianne had wanted to kind of step aside a little bit and focus on some things at home and um, other avenues that she's so geared towards. So the Lord provided this position, and um, we I just kind of stepped in and filled her role um, until we can see where the future heads. I know that Larry Ann did a fantastic job at the campus and for your students and for the school. But admittedly, I, over the years that I've talked to her, she kind of always said that she, I think she was kind of an interim that became permanent, right? And just kind of ended up just kind of staying. And, and I believe she had a, didn't she have a, a child graduate and just kind of age out? Yes. Yeah. Her, her um, son just recently graduated and he headed off to college and that's exactly right. So, so she kind of went, I'm done. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations to Larry Ann. Uh, she was always a pleasure to talk to. But I'm excited to get to know you and uh, know you know what things that, what you're going to do that that uh, keeps in tradition with UCA and maybe even some new changes or direction that you might implement. So uh, again, uh, it's an honor and pleasure to talk to you, Audrey. What is your history? Uh, go and give us your whole educational background um, as far as schooling and uh, you know and what got you in education. So I graduated from a classical. Um, high school in Arizona and so following that um, they kind of let me led me up to um, pursuing some college um, I actually entered the dental field and got some certificates and doing those type of things in the dental field for 15 plus years Wow um, so I basically headed that direction became office manager and then actually ended up back in the classical school that I graduated from working and assisting there while my kids were there. Uh So I was office manager back home in Arizona for a couple years, and then we moved for my husband's job and ended up here at UCA. And and so classical school is kind of just written in my main my main frame there. It's just... It's in the blood. Yeah, yeah. It's in the DNA. Very cool. So obviously, you know, you come from a classical education background, uh, so I'm sure you just, you know, hit the ground running uh, as far as being able to implement it and uh, continue the tradition of UCA. Um, go ahead, and, and for those who are listening who don't understand exactly the definition of a classical education, go ahead and, I guess, explain that if you don't mind. Sure. So there are three portions of classical education. Um, there's the grammar, the logic, and the rhetoric stage. Um, the grammar stage is from kindergarten through sixth grade, and it's just basically putting the foundation, um, the all of the information that we have stored in our minds because those kids are like sponges at that age. Mm-hmm. So we give them the facts, the overviews, um, just the basic principles, your, your math um, tying into your history, your history tying into your science, kind of making those connections between the subjects, which is very what classical breaks down to, is the tying in a whole worldview system. 
So then we move on to the logic stage, which is the stage of questioning. Um, I'm sure if you've been around kids, Mm -hmm. um, 7th and 8th grade, that they ask a million questions of how, why, what, when, and all of those things. So we foster those questions. We give them the ability to ask these questions about the history, math, science, Bible, writing. Uh, Our literature is all tied in with our history. So... When they get through the logic stage, then they hit the the rhetoric stage, and they're using the rhetoric stage to still ask the questions, but also provide the answers themselves for it. So it's the shaping of a worldview is what classical education is. I think it's fascinating and interesting, and it's almost like uh, like this term probably has existed for for centuries, but it's almost like what we call apologetics these days, as far as a Christian sense, where you're you're actually teaching your kids things, but you're also explaining to them, and you're giving them tools to be able to, I guess, explain it. And I, and I think what I mean is, as far as especially a faith based school. Oftentimes, and maybe if you're raised in church, for instance, you might go to church twice a week if you're lucky. You know, uh, you learn what the preacher says, you go to Sunday school, it's all great. But once you get into the real world situation where you have to debate and you have to defend your belief system, you know, uh, a young uh, person of faith uh, can be torn down pretty quickly. You know, if they're not equipped to know exactly what they believe and how to, I guess. Why uh, they believe it. Yeah, why they believe it, how to explain it. You know, um, so I, it seems like you're just preparing kids to not only know what they believe, but to defend their faith. Does that make sense? Is, is that in my... That is absolutely correct. Yes. That so... Is, you're, we're giving them the, the tools to explain, to defend, to um, make that foundation firm into any avenue that they choose to go leaving UCA. Now, this is a uh, classical Christian education. So uh, where exactly does that Christian base, uh, that faith, how far does that go into the curriculum? It's in every thought of it. Every aspect, huh? Yes, yes. So our entire curriculum is biblically based, um, and we want that. We're teaching um, all the worldviews, but we are teaching the reason why we're, we have the worldview mm-hmm. based on Scripture. Um, so it, is, it goes down to the simplest things of that God is a designer and he created math um, so we can trust math. Mm-hmm. Wow, fantastic. Now let's go and talk about uh, the campus, uh, the structure of the education. Um, give us, I guess, a day in the life of the campus and or maybe just explain to us what um, what courses that your, your kids take. I know you guys have a, a pretty wide array, a wide range of ages, right? We do. We're pre-K through 12. Yeah. So, so how, how does a day in the life look? And I know, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, Larry Ann told me in the past that you, a, a lot of, there's a lot of interaction between the younger students and the older students, right? Yes, yes. We have that kind of familial, um, we get to join all together every morning, our pre-K through 12, um, for a chapel or an assembly, and they kind of get to touch base. We do um, in-house um, parties, those type of things that we're kind of really mixing the um, student body. Um, the day looks different for everybody mm-hmm. um, just because we are a right, wide range and in one building. And so our pre-K through fourth grade is kind of secluded in that they maintain in their classrooms. Um, they have one solid teacher um, other than some extracurriculars. And then our fifth through twelfth, they have multiple teachers and they go through um, about 50 minutes of classwork um, for each subject. But they do have all their extracurriculars. They have, they receive um, music, art, and physical education. Again, we are celebrating uh, National School Choice Week here, and we're talking to Audrey Dad. She's the interim uh, head of school at Uvalde Classical Academy. I didn't mention this earlier, but I may as well go and give some specifics. Uh, they're located on North Getty Street, 400 North Getty Street. You can call them at 830-591-2242, and their email is knowledge at uvaldeclassical.org. Uh, the website is uvaldeclassical.org as well. So we'll recap that information uh, at the end when we start talking about enrollment and whatnot. But uh, uh Audrey, um, I guess let's go ahead and uh, talk about your student body and, and all your teachers and, you know, the, the, the whole staff. Um, how many how many students are enrolled currently? How many teachers you got versus students in that ratio go? Yeah, absolutely. We try to keep our class sizes about um, 10 to 12. Um, we have some smaller classes um, that are about four students, all the way ranging up to 12. Um, 
So our class size is our class sizes are no more than one to twelve. Wow. Um, and we have four graduating seniors this year, um, and they we have a total of ninety kids. So there is some classes that are smaller. There's are some bigger ones, but our biggest class size is twelve. And about what's the size of your faculty? Um, we have about we have nineteen. That is that's a really good ratio. That's awesome. Very cool. Um, and and so now there are options, you know, uh, in Uvalde County. We've got, of course, the public school system and a, and a couple of uh, uh, Christian and Catholic schools as well. In your own words, in your own opinion, and of course, not asking you to to diss anybody. What do you think uh, sets Uvalde Classical Academy aside or apart from the rest? Well, we have we do have a lot of great options in Uvalde. Um, I think what sets us apart is that we like to come alongside the family and minister with them to their kids. So we want the parental involvement in there, and we are pre-K through 12. So I Mm -hmm. think we're the only private school that is actually all the way through high school. Very good. Now, as far as um, enrollment, how do you find out if the student, the family, is the right fit for Uvalde Classical Academy. Is there kind of a vetting process? Is everybody welcome? How difficult and or easy uh, is that process as far as getting the kid in? There is a vetting process. Um, We initially like to just meet with the parents, make sure that our worldviews match up. Mm -hmm. Um, They come and tour the school. Um, There's an application period. Um, We actually open enrollment in March for new students. And then they have applications, a interview with both myself and a board member and then a testing process for the students. Very good. Very cool. So um, let's, let's go ahead and talk about enrollment information. Uh, it is school choice week, so we're trying to highlight and uh, get parents engaged in, as to, you know, trying to figure out if they want to pursue these different options. Uh, when is the best time and way to find out and get more information and then actually enroll? You can always visit our website, but you're feel free to call. Um, I, have, I like to kind of meet with the families, like I said, and do a tour. So we're kind of available through Monday through Friday, um, and then our open enrollment is March 1st. Are there any scholarship opportunities or options? Right now, we do not have any scholarship okay. opportunities. There is uh, some financial aid, if necessary, mm-hmm. um, if people pre-qualify, but we do try to keep our tuition low. And I guess, finally, Audrey, I mean, since you're, you know, new gal in town, uh, what's it been like for you? What, what's your personal experience, I guess, interacting with the faculty and getting to know the kids? Uh, have they embraced you? Uh, how has it been so far for you? It's been wonderful. Um, it has been a very welcoming place. We, we just moved here, um, actually, in May, and um, we were pleasantly surprised at how friendly and welcoming and how much it felt like home. Now, if you don't mind my asking, uh, you moved here right when some pretty crazy stuff happened in this town. So, obviously, you have been dealing um, with education and being an educator during a really kind of tricky and sensitive time in in Uvalde history. Uh, How has that been going for you? Um, It was definitely not something that we could have ever anticipated. Yeah. Um, And we've we've dealt with some um, emotional fallback, for sure. We have the ability here to be able to sit down and pray with our students Mm -hmm. and to really to minister to them spiritually. Um, So our kids have done very, very well, um, and we have been able to provide um, a source of peace for them, and that's only through Jesus Christ. Fantastic. What a great answer. I love it. And again, Audrey Dad here from Uvalde Classical Academy. Uh, we wish you uh, the best. Uh, you know, I, I guess one one quick follow up question. Uh, what are your plans? I mean, I know that you guys have a, a really cool thing going on there and a, a board and, and a great faculty and, and students. But uh, are there any, I guess, differences, any changes you'd like to implement personally? Or are you just kind of just kind of holding down the fort? What, what, what's your attitude you're taking here? Um, I'm really trying to embrace the tradition of UCA. Mm-hmm. Um, so so I am trying to follow as closely as possible um, with maybe bringing a little bit of spice into it. Very good. Again, uh, Audrey Dad here. She is the interim head of school at Uvalde Classical Academy. Again, the address is 400 North Getty Street. You can call them at 830-591-2242. The website is uvaldeclassical.org. And Audrey, is there anything else we haven't touched on that you really would like to get out as far as the messaging goes? Um, just If you're interested, just Feel free, to, free, feel free to call or visit the website. Well, thank you so much for your time. Again, celebrating National School Choice Week here on UvaldeRadio.net with Uvalde Classical Academy. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you.